The last day of the 2017 Red Flash invite brought its fair share of adversity to the home team Sunday. The Red Flash fell behind number one seed Adelphi 2-1 in its first best of seven matchup. Despite the rough start, Coach Falbo said he felt confident in his team's strategy. Our girls stayed resilient and our girls have some power too. And so what we did is, is put the pressure on them to make shots or not make shots and it just, it just went our way. You know, we had the pins falling our way, and, and then we got momentum. And we got that momentum, we were able to, to take care of business. The Red Flash would regroup and win the next three games to advance to the championship match against Norfolk State. I think we were all really nervous, and it was the start of the day, and we all knew what we had to do, but we just had to settle in and um, make sure that we stayed patient, and that's exactly what we did, and the lanes came to us. It certainly seemed the lanes came to them, as the Red Flash took a commanding 3-1 lead, which included a 2-12-2-08 comeback win. Adversity struck the Red Flash once again in the fifth game in the form of a foul. Coach Falbo and Shore said the team utilized the slip-up as a defining moment on the journey to a championship. I felt nothing in terms of our players stepping back. I felt our players being more determined and more focused. And that's exactly what happened, and we responded by winning that next game. The match was nerve-wracking. It was a really great match. Those are the ones that you end up remembering, not the ones that you sweep, but the ones that you really have to work for. And after that foul, um, we just really had so much more determination, and we were ready to do it. So we got it done. The Red Flash might be a young group, but its mantra lies in one word, resilience.